Rabbit, rabbit. Saying this first thing on the first day of the month will bring you good luck for the whole month through. It's unknown why or how rabbits have come to be associated with good luck. Still, folklore scholars believe that the tradition of carrying a rabbit's foot in your pocket may have stemmed from a mix of sources, but it's ultimately unclear. It's also unknown why people began saying rabbit, rabbit, or bunny, bunny for good luck. The earliest recording of doing so comes from a 1909 issue of the British journal Notes and Queries. In the issue, a parent recounted that some children say rabbits on the first day of the month for good luck. This would lead one to believe that perhaps the practice was widely known and spread at the time. The practice is mentioned again in 1935 in the British Nottingham Evening Post. It says, quote, Mr. Roosevelt, the President of the United States, has confessed to a friend that he says rabbits on the first of every month. And what is more, he would not think of omitting the utterance on any account. Rabbits are associated with spring and renewal, so perhaps the beginning of the month and the association with the opportunity of a new month isn't such a far stretch. Author Benjamin Radford suggests that a lucky rabbit's foot could be associated with a European charm called the hand of glory, which is a dried or pickled hand of a hanged man. People believed having the left hand of the dead man or the hand that, quote, did the deed, along with a candle made of their fat, would bring the supernatural power of rendering a person motionless. Some believed that the idea of lucky rabbits dates back all the way to the Celts, who thought the whole rabbit was lucky because they lived in burrows, and living underground, they believed, made it possible for the rabbits to communicate with the dead. According to folklorist Bill Ellis, rabbits were sometimes familiars, and there are many tales of witches being maimed while in their familiar's form. It's also believed that the foot was luckier if the rabbit was killed on a grave. The more cruel the person buried, the luckier the foot. President Cleveland allegedly had a foot from a rabbit killed on Jesse James's grave. There are a few specifications that must be met for the foot to be lucky. One, it must be the left hind foot. Two, the rabbit must have been killed in a cemetery. Three, the foot must be cut off on a Friday. Even better, if it's on the 13th. And it should be a full moon outside. Many believe the tradition of carrying them came to us from African folklore, noting that rabbits have trickster-like skills and they're quick, smart, and able to elude capture. What's strange about all of this, despite the obvious weirdness of carrying a severed limb in our pockets, is that there's a great deal of negative things that happen in order to have created a supposedly lucky object. It seems that the more bad luck vibes an item can collect, the more good luck it can bring. So, rabbit, rabbit, my friend. <laughs>